Bellend. all over the place. Westerly's been busy. I'm picking up some radio chatter from the guards. The entrance to the tomb is behind a large stone slab that nobody's been able to move. I can move it. I know I can. But first, you have to help me clear out these guards. We've got us a plan, then. I don't like it. Lock it down. Fuck me! Waiting air... have gone far. Huh, that's one way to do the job. Couldn't have gone far. That's all the guards down, but we need to buy Darcy more time. Scrambling the security system ought to do it. There we are. It's all up to you now, Darcy.
All right, you can do this. I've never been down here before. Oh, what's taken me so long? Isn't that interesting? Jacob Fry. Lucas would have loved this. The other fella, is that who I think it is? and curiouser. What other secrets are hiding down here? What's back here?
can't believe it. It fits. Anything could happen here. Scour the zoo. Recover the artifact. The intruder is to be shot on sight. Understand? Yes, sir. Shit. If I don't get out of here, I am done for. Let's do this. The tomb is nearly ours. What's happening out there? Get a move on. There we are. Who's next? Job done. hasn't been in for a few centuries. Perhaps you don't understand what's happening here. I've killed you. You're dead. And I get to die having lived a successful life. <clears throat> Which is more than I can say about your cowardly brotherhood. Watch yourself. You know, I would have so much more respect for you and your people if you refused my offer to leave the city. <clears throat> if you just stayed and fought. Killing me won't change anything. The Templars are everywhere. And your brotherhood is too scared to ever come back. You want my advice? Find better people to fight with. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, fuck him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I didn't. No, I did do that. Yeah, I left it at home. I have Darcy's signal. Talk to me, cuz. What did we miss? Westerly's dead and the tomb is safe, for now. There's no way I can leave the city. If my ancestors could take on the Templars, then so can I. But I need a brotherhood. 
Not to put anyone on the spot, but dead sex a brotherhood of sorts, isn't it? Brotherhood, sisterhood, siblinghood, whatever hood, really. If you're willing to stand up for the city, we're happy to have you. And I won't lie, it really doesn't hurt that you seem to be some kind of ninja with ancient superpowers. We definitely don't have one of those yet. Hmm. I'll take it under advisement. Set calling. Are you up for some freedom fighting? Anything for the resistance. What do they even get up to here? I've been avoiding this place since, well, since it happened. All this empty air makes it hard to think of stupid shit to say, you know? So what's with all the fucking security? This place should be under repair, shouldn't it? Ah, uh, something stinks here. Yeah, super weird. Bagley, what am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. Take this down. The Tone Bombing presents us with an excellent opportunity. Once we've taken full possession of the site, it gives us a good vantage point on the Thames and provides us with a cover of activity to mask some of our own higher risk activities. This is it. The signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Aw, oh, poor little guy. What are you doing here, friend? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction.
No, you have got to be joking. He's looking to automate our jobs, mate. This is no joke. Director Cass? You, you're serious? Who told you that? Friend over in R&D. The shit he's told me about. About background checks and knowing who's going to be useful to Albion, who's going to be a problem. You that worried about your job? This is a PMC. They already do background checks on all of us. But you don't get it. He was talking about the general population, not just us employees. How bad is it that everyone has to be watched that closely? Well, look around, it's fucking bad. And Cass is going to do what he has to to keep it from getting worse. Suggest you do the same. Perfect, two more data relays to go. I don't think I can look at this. data relay and I'll have it. <sighs> that should do it. Now I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot, and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Right. Okay. <laughs> CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Park. Think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. <laughs> Kelly? Like Clan Kelly? Mobsters blew the city up. This was just a delivery. Clan Kelly probably made a mint supply in the bombs. Question is, who were they meeting with? Didn't seem like they knew each other too well. Maybe that was Zero Day. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Done and done. Any notes? Bagley, can you do a thing and work out who was running the spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. 
and while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Fuck me. The guard was watching all this. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Cool. Lucky I bought my secret quantum tunneling device, mate. Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but Spiderbots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good call. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Copy that. RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. It's zero day. It's gotta be. Eh, yeah, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you were hired to pilot all the targets? Oh, shut it. We're all on need to know. Shit. So Zero Day was using a bunch of groups to pull off the bombings? That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the Spiderbot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. So the police knew about the bombings and said nothing. Oh, Bagley, I think we might get to uncover a conspiracy. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Shit, it looks like Albion took over the police station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. Well, I do say fuck the police, I also say fuck Albion. Hmm, what to make of this? Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Hmm. Now, any record so or information on the Spiderbot will be further in.
there we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Exactly. Badly, is this the right spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you tell who used it last? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Piss easy. I got this. Opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met or Albion rather actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't Dead Sex handiwork at all. Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now.
every fuck with you. Look at all this junk. You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. Standard quadrant search. Make your way through this last fence path. Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce, unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Sure. you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? <laughs> cool. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates.
The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Seems like a pretty good place to do secret shit if you ask me. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Yeah, I'm stumped. Bagley, any ideas? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Go get him, spider bot. Whoa, it's like a secret police station down here. I mean, a police station that is secret, not a... You know, you know what I mean. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Yeah, all right. So what would lead them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's coup. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Fuck me. So Albion and Clan Kelly were working together? It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. People are getting snatched off the streets. We have to do something about it, right? That's what we do. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. That's not good. 
No deportees are leaving the UK. They probably threw him into the EPC and just forgot about him. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. I wonder if there's more like this. Flying metal twit. I think that Albion vandalized this advertising to try and control people's thoughts when this perfectly nice corporation paid good money to do that. Justice served, kind of.
Yeah, good enough. I can't believe Albion had the brass to spatter their propaganda all over Buckingham Palace. When this is all over, maybe there'll be a knighthood in it for me. Sir Bagley has a ring, doesn't it? Feel free to use it anytime. You've done it. All our Westminster targets have been accounted for. Albion's hurting and the people are coming out of their shells. I've even got a member of Parliament here contacting us. Wait, what? Yeah, I thought it strange too. Says she has an idea how we might rally the people in the borough. You should meet her. And I get to fight evil robots. This dead sex shit is my dream job. Someone told me you were looking for dead sec. Wasn't sure you'd come knowing I'm part of the establishment. Or at least I was until Albion dismissed Parliament. I do want to say, what you've done in Westminster is remarkable. You've given the people hope. Oh, uh, your lot's not off the hook yet. But if you want to help us clean up your mess, we'd be pretty stupid to try and stop you. I couldn't agree more. That's why I contacted you. Albion haven't simply shut down the government. They've sullied the Palace of Westminster, the Great Bell, with their propaganda. Do you understand what that looks like? If you really want to rekindle some of the people's fighting spirit, then restoring the clock tower would go a long way. So we switch on the clock and then everyone sees Albion's time's up, right? I knew I could count on you. It will be wonderful to hear the bell once more. There is some security around the bell tower, but that shouldn't pose a problem. A bigger issue will be getting to the top. What should I do? A spider bot should do the trick. That was definitely something. Hold on. some respect you have a job to do what no 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 lock it down there's been a breach search for the intruder if you're not careful they will get you and drop you
The path up to the top of the tower is treacherous. All crawl spaces and gantries. More suited to six mechanical legs than two human ones. Cool. Sounds fun. should do it.
That was moving. Truly. To hear the chimes again, to see that tower the way it's meant to be seen, means everything to the people of this borough. But whatever you say, I'm not big on symbols, but I don't want to be shitty. If this represents something important to people, that's great. It represents our parliamentary democracy. To have Albion deface it the way they did, it's clear what they were up to. Thank you, DedSec. Brilliantly done. Westminster will surely rise up against Albion after this. Cheers. The more badasses, the merrier, right? Hell yes! I'm ready to get my hands dirty with you lot. Hell yes. You're in. Let's find the thing. Just about there. I have better places to be anyways. Hey, mate. You look tough enough. How do you feel about fighting someone worth your time, eh? Go on. The rolling champ here, she's a fucking maniac, I'm telling you. It's like she's not even safe to watch sometimes. It's brilliant, honestly. I've had to throw her out a few times for attacking a bleeding audience. What? Seriously? Swear on my mother's life. She's totally unpredictable, but that's what makes it fun. Seriously, I'd love to watch her fight you. You look like you can hold your own, right? Here they come, purveyors of violence and mayhem. They're poised, they're ready, they're wild and unsteady. Get on your feet and let them hear it. I'm going to enjoy this. Now that's entertainment and one massive blow to our fighter. Oh. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Solid strike from a solid fight. Come on, you little weakling. Oh shit! Could that be the win right now? Oh shit! What an absolutely disgusting blow! Oh, I can taste the tension in here. Our fighters are ready, are you? Come here, well, you soidoid shit boy. Be. Bits are closed, and we're ready to run. Just like a proper live highlight reel. Oh, they're gonna feel that hit in the morning if they wake up. And then now, did you see all that on the live stream? I want to hear that energy, folks. I want to hear the love. And Are you the sure you want to do this? You look the weak. Try to step into the limelight. Take a look at those faces. Place your bets and strap the fuck in. They're getting murdered in there. Get on it. Get on it. A solid hit. That's the shit we like to see. Am I all right, people? Or what? Oh, no. That was a lovely knockdown. 
she can't be contained. She's uncontrollable and unbeatable. Come on, folks, make some noise because where there's smoke, there's fire. You think you can just do whatever you want? Oh shit! And that's a solid blow there. Oh my god! What well, absolutely disgusting it! See that monster hit on the stream? Fucking hell! Thank <laughs> you. 